All right, good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Of course, you know what time it is. This is the time where we give you an update on what's happening in the tropics. If anything, it's kind of quiet out there for the Atlantic Basin, but one important thing to note, we are now just one day away from what we call the peak of hurricane season, typically like over several years where it's the busiest, but at this point, it is just the opposite. It is unusually quiet in the Atlantic Basin, of course, which includes the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf. So. It's a good thing for us. Hopefully this trend will continue. Notice that huge spike in named storms, usually right around September 10th. That's not happening this year, but don't let your guard down because we've still got a ways to go. We've got to get through the rest of this month, all of October and all of November before we can say, all clear for this hurricane season. So let's talk about what's going on out there. At this point, it is quiet, however, in September, even though it's quiet now, things can ramp up quickly. In fact, historically for the month of September, we typically have the most activity across the Western Atlantic, Central Atlantic, or what we call that main development region, those tropical waves coming off the West Coast of Africa and then getting stronger and potentially impacting the East Coast of the US. Also, there's usually a higher amount of action starting to bubble up across parts of the Gulf and a decent shot in the Caribbean. Heading into October, as far as named storms, tropical storms, hurricanes, still an above average chance for those to develop across the Western Atlantic, the Caribbean, and especially the central and eastern parts of the Gulf. So far this season, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six named storms, including one of those blowing up to a monster category five hurricane. That was Aaron, of course. Most recently, we had Fernand, and we're still waiting for Gabrielle to form it just hasn't happened we thought we might get it over the weekend in the Caribbean then that system ran into some super dry air that kind of ripped it apart and that was the end of that system so we're still waiting. So as we check out the reason why it's so quiet across the Atlantic Basin, I would say the top reason will be the very dry air out there, stable conditions across much of the Atlantic. We've got all of this thick, dusty air that Saharan dust just won't give up. Usually this time of the hurricane season, it starts to kind of disperse, thin out, go away, and that clears the air, that clears the way for these tropical systems to develop in that very warm water. We definitely have the warm water Water in place temps near 90 for parts of the Gulf and also into the northwestern Caribbean middle to upper 80 so we got bath water out there super steamy water but just no action really getting going so here is the good news no areas of investigation at this point across the Atlantic the Caribbean the Gulf it is super quiet but you know what who's complaining who wants a hurricane barreling down in your town so we don't want that we hope it stays quiet but of course I just don't want you to let your guard down because even though it's quiet likely for at least the next week as we get towards late September and even into October things can pop up quickly so just keep checking back in case things take a turn for the worse our Fox weather tropical model showing just some general scattered showers and storms across the Atlantic Basin, but nothing really organizing or looking too impressive. The only thing that's looking like it's getting its act together is that potential tropical system that is expected to form just off of the southwestern coast of Mexico near Acapulco. So that is the one area where we will likely see something getting going by the end of this week into the weekend. So let's investigate that a little bit more. This is going to be in the eastern Pacific, and right now there's a high chance we can have a tropical depression or tropical storm developing here over the next week. So we've basically got a tropical wave south of the southern coast of Guatemala. You can see it's organizing here, tropical depression or storm likely later this week, and it will be moving close, almost parallel to that southwestern Mexican coast off to the west-northwest. So certainly some impacts to Acapulco, other portions of southwestern Mexico likely over the next several days as this thing likely will develop. So we do have to monitor that. You can see on our GFS futurecast really starting to spin up and look more impressive by Thursday afternoon into Friday. 
not actually making landfall in Mexico, but brushing by close enough to lash parts of Mexico with some heavy rain, maybe flood potential. Big time surf, strong wind, so we'll have to watch that closely. And then by Sunday, it's passing south of the Baja California Peninsula as it moves away from Mexico. So no major landfall expected with that one, but still something to watch. Finally, let's check out what's going on with Kiko. No longer a hurricane, it is down to a tropical storm. Today and tomorrow, passing north of the Hawaiian Islands, and it does still pose a risk for those big waves and, of course, those dangerous rip currents, even though it is a lot less organized and a lot weaker. It's actually expected to fall apart completely and lose those tropical characteristics in just the next day or two. So here's a look at it on our satellite. There's the Hawaiian Islands. It certainly does not look anything like it looked like a few days ago. It's much weaker, but still some of those bigger waves, the waves surfers like, are going to be going on the next 24 to 48 hours. And I've seen video of a lot of surfers taking advantage of those big waves across Hawaii. So 40 mile per hour winds, super weak, barely hanging on to tropical storm status right now, moving to the west northwest at 14 miles per hour. You can see it pushing north of the Hawaiian Islands islands and then just falling apart in the Pacific as we go into Thursday and Friday. So that's all we have going on right now. Extremely quiet across the Atlantic Basin. Good news for us. Of course, like I said, if that changes, we'll update you and let you know if there's anything to be concerned about. But let's just hope we can keep this quiet stretch going for the rest of the season.